Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Royal Instinct. Today, we're going to be watching a video uh, titled The Downfall of Jose Mourinho. Uh, Jose Mourinho is somebody I am very impressed with. Um, I was, I believe, 14 years old when he moved to Chelsea, when he became the Chelsea manager after he won the um, Champions League with um, FC Porto. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I remember watching that final and then watching him in the press conference. And I believe the video we're going to watch actually starts with that very, very um, press conference that, we, that I'm talking about. Um, and I thought, uh, I was like, this man gets it. He understands um, what it takes. He understands what it's all about. He is one of us. He is of royal descent. He sees himself as a king. He conducts himself in a kingly manner. Um, and uh, he went for his goals. He reached the top and um, established his own kingdom. Um, however, as he aged, he was not able to hold on to his kingdom. His powers dwindled. Uh, somewhere along the line, something happened where he started making bad decisions. He started making bad moves and his stock is dwindling. Uh, people now see that he has lost touch. He has lost his Midas touch. He is not with it anymore. Um, his tactics don't work. He's, his media <clears throat> uh, personality doesn't um, have the same charisma anymore that he used to. Um, <clears throat> so there are lessons to be learned. We will use him as a case study of uh, what he did right to get to the top. Uh, and uh, we will look at his mistakes and learn from them because uh, here at Royal Instinct, I am building my kingdom. Uh, I am looking for 100 people, 100 potential kings, people who believe it is their destiny to become kings, uh, that they believe that they are of royal descent, who also want to establish a kingdom. And the way we do it here is via content cre creation. We become 24-hour content creating machines. We become charismatic speakers, charismatic leaders. And we lead humanity to a better path. We build fame. We rise to the top. We are seen as points of authority. And we establish our kingdoms. We build legacies. Uh, we are part of the Royal Alliance. Um, building side by side. Taking over the game. Taking over from the evil people. The corrupt people in the world. And helping humanity usher in a new dawn for civilization. A better world somewhere where they can um, retreat to from the evils uh, that is to come. There is a dystopian future ahead. AI will consume most of people's jobs. Most people will be made redundant. Driverless cars will take your transportation jobs. Um, <clears throat> you know, delivery job, jobs, jobs will be gone because uh, drones will deliver Amazon products. Um, it is looking like a bleak future. Uh, you will be left uh, to stay in your house, to be connected via the metaverse. Neuralink will implant a brain straight to your head. Uh, and then you'll be under surveillance 24-7. Uh, humanity will be sucked out of you. You'll be left alone with no human connection. Um, however, you will be sedated. Uh, you will have a little bit of fun. All the porn you want in the world. You'll have your own little sex robot, which I guess um, if you're a per pervert like that, uh, it will be a lot of fun for you. Um, if you want to live a civilized life, if you want to live a human life, you have to do something about it. And the only thing left for you to do is to become a content creator, uh, for you to rise to the top, become as famous as possible, um, be seen as a point of authority, establish a kingdom, be seen as a king. That's when you get the best uh, business opportunities, the best money-making opportunities. That's when you're seen as a true king. Uh, you have the best social opportunities and dating opportunities and other kings such as myself will see you and recognize you and welcome you with open arms to one of our many parties, one of our fancy yachts where we uh, sit back and chill and talk uh, how we uh, will further conquest the world, expand the territory into the mighty universe. But let's see what Jose is about. Let's see how his rise was, his meteoric rise um, again. When I was 14 years old, when I was still, you know, in my uh, young man age, when I was still trying to figure out the world, uh, along he came and he he kind of, you know, I kind of really felt in my heart a, a connection. I was, I was like, I was like there, there is somebody else like me out there. Okay. Jose gets it, right? He, he is somebody who he believes he is a special one. 
Okay. And he he won the Champions League. He showed his doubters um, that he is, as he said, not from the bottle. Um, and uh, when, when I really heard him speak, it, 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 it almost moves me to tears um, because I was like, do you know what? I am not alone out here. There are other people like me, which is why I'm making this video, which I'm sending a, a bat signal. I'm collecting the Avengers. If you also believe uh, you are raw descent, that you are a special one, then reach out and let's see if we can work together and take over the world. Again, please don't call me arrogant because what I, I'm saying is true. I'm European champion, so I'm not one of, of the bottle. I'm a, I think I'm a special one. In the space of a day. I mean, do you get what I mean? Like, he literally, no blinking, you know, no twitching, no moving, no no cheeky smile at the end, like, huh, I think I'm a special one. <clears throat> like, straight to the face, you know. Hey, I'm not trying to be arrogant, okay? But I I think I'm a special one. Like, do you get what I mean? I, I don't think I'm arrogant. I think I'm a special one. Like, he's literally roll off the tongue, He's uh, it is something that he believes in. It's something that he proved. And me, as a as a young man watching that, I, I really felt like you know, like like this is my guy. Do you get what I mean? Like this this person, you know, is, is someone I can uh, I, I I can see, you know, who who actually went there before me, who who achieved what what he wanted to achieve, and established himself as a king. Okay, he talks like a king. He's overall descent. He is one of us. If you believe. Um, that you are a overall descent, that you and Jose and me all have a connection, then reach out and let's see what we can do. Decade, Jose Mourinho climbed to the pinnacle of European football. Conquering every country he set foot in, he was truly the special one. But the last few years have seen his stock fall to a level that once upon a time would seem impossible, leaving many... Um, <clears throat> yeah, he, he, uh, you know, he, his first down fall came... I believe when he left, um, there was all signs of his, uh, you know, his uh, his big personality kind of spilt into, um, you know, true arrogance. Like, you know, he 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 was saying that earlier, you know, don't call me arrogant, uh, but there is also a little bit of arrogance about him, where, you know, it's um, it's my way the highway. There is a lack of adaptability, uh, maybe given his age as well. You know, he in in the first clip, he's about forty years old, I believe, and then. Um, you know, a, a decade after the, you know, the the lack and willingness to adapt. Because you have, you have to, uh, have to understand this. Like, when you're winning in life, when you are successful, your brain is telling you you're the man, that what you're doing is correct. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and then when you have other people who are less qualified than you, like journalists and shit, um, fans of the opposing team, your own fans, um, questioning, you, you really think, like, who the fuck are you? To, to talk to me in that way. Who the fuck are you? You've achieved nothing, okay? And you you end up in this little bubble. You end up in this little... Uh, you end up at the top alone. And and I believe this is what uh, Jose's mistake was. He isolated himself. He was at the top. He reached the pinnacle, uh, the top of the mountain of success. Uh, but he was there alone. He, he didn't network with other people of his caliber. He, he wanted it all for himself. Um, where me and Jose differ is um, <clears throat> I, I don't believe it should be lonely at the top. Uh, and for Jose, it was maybe lonely at the top. I don't believe it should. I think it should be a party at the top. I think um, I want to surround myself with my friends. Uh, but you, I only want to be friends with people who are hyper successful as I am, who have, are hyper ambitious as I am, who see themselves as kings, who want to reach the top and establish a kingdom in their own right. Okay, like... I'm not someone who's just here to tell you, uh, follow me, listen to what I do, and uh, you'll be successful. Um, with, with, you know, there, there's enough of those type of people uh, online. <clears throat> um, I'm more like, I'm, I'm trying to find some like-minded people here, okay? Um, I'm looking for people, literally, there's a loneliness epidemic in the world, okay? And uh, it, it's re getting rarer and rarer where you, can, where you can find a true friend, where you can have people around you that you truly uh, can rely upon, um, that you fully trust, uh, who are not going to fuck you over in essence. Um, and uh, I I'm like, well, they, they must be out there because because I exist. Jose existed. Um, you know, there there should be at least one hundred of us out there. I believe there'd be more. I believe there might be thousands, ten thousand people. Uh, but I'll be happy with just you know just a hundred, right? Like, uh, 
people barely have one friend. Like, you know, if I can find 100 people that like minded, uh, who also want to become super successful, who want to uh, be invited to my uh, parties, my mansion parties, my yeah, yacht parties, parties at the beach, you know, parties in Ibiza, Saint Tropez, all the places in the world, we will explore, we will enjoy. If you want to be part of that, you know, reach out. Let's see if you understand what I'm saying. If you, uh, if I can also help you establish a kingdom, do you know what I mean? I'm not trying to do charity work here. I'm trying to help people who are on the path to success, who uh, also want to be successful because that, 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 that kind of what's, what happiness is all about is like helping each other and conquering uh, alongside your friends, basically. Do you know what I mean? Um, I think that's where Joseph went wrong. I think if he brought other people along um, as he aged, uh, he could have expanded his own network. Um, do you know what I mean? Uh, however, you know, we will have, once we make it, we will, you know, have a little toast to Jose uh, and maybe invite him to a party as well. Who knows? Maybe, you know, once we establish our hundred kingdoms, maybe he'll reach out as well and be like, "Hey, I want to have, I want to reclaim my kingdom back. Can you guys help me?" And of course, uh, we will uh, assess him. We will, you know, vet him thoroughly. We will see what he's about. If he has humbled himself a little bit, and uh, if he uh, truly wants to be part of our network, our royal alliance, our uh, network of kings. Need to ask the question, what's happened? Well, I think I've found the answers. Let me explain how and why football's greatest character and arguably greatest manager has been unfairly labelled the finished one, but also how his best chapter could be yet to come. Yeah, and um, sometimes life will throw at you um, a spanner in the works. Sometimes you will fall, uh, you know, um, if you don't have anyone to check you, you will fall off the horse you will fall off the wagon uh, and it is down to you to pick yourself up and get back up there get back on the field uh, and fight for your life uh, it is a fight for your life it is a never-ending challenge but that's uh, also should be where you derive joy from um you know accomplishing things figuring shit out uh overcoming adversity that is where the fun lies right um I believe uh, the people who are part of my network, uh, the kings that I'm helping, they shouldn't have a drastic fall like Jose has. There. We should not experience it because one thing that I, I truly believe is in, in forming our network is that we come together and um, you know have open dialogues, keep each other accountable, uh, make sure that if somebody is heading down a path of destruction as Jose had, uh, as Jose has in the past, um, that we'd be able to call each other out and be like, hey, guy, hey, mate, like, you know, maybe you don't want to be doing that. Maybe, you know, cool it off a little bit, you know, take your foot off the gas, reassess, maybe see it from this perspective. Do you go? Know I mean, and I believe Jose lacked those people around him and it led to him making some bad decisions, uh, some hasty decisions, um, because once you experience life at the top, you want it to be like that all the time. Okay. Uh, but if you have a little dip back down, you know, you can't just be like, all right, I'm down here. Let me breathe. But you know, I've been even lower. So for me to get back up should be quite easy. OK, so, you know, it it, it comes down to uh, having good advisors, good people around you who understand what you're about. I mean, th th there's a lack of flaws in our society anyway. Right. We're, we're near perfect. But we're also human. There is a human element to us. And um, you have to open yourself to friendship. You have to open yourself up to trust. You have to be willing to listen, be willing to listen to. Because because what's the point of, of having friends if you're not willing to listen to them? If you, if you don't listen to your friends, then they're not, they're e a, they're even not worth listening to. Then you have to really ask yourself is, should you be friends with those people? And uh, if you do value their friendship uh, and not willing to listen to them, then, then there's something else going on. Do you know what I mean? Because your friends should be on par with you. They should be... Uh, you know, down on the same mission as you, you should be able to uh, conquer together uh, because th those are the funnest times that you'll ever experience in life. Mourinho's management style is quite unique. He wants to be more than someone who can affect his players on the grass. He wants to affect their minds, their lives. When he started his management journey, he aimed to redefine the role. He wanted to become a football technocrat. A th yeah, he, he, he wanted total democratic power uh, it, what he wanted to be a soul army of one. Uh, he wanted to be a soul leader, soul ruler. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound very much fun. Do you know what I mean? Like, like there also has to be 
the spoils of war should be uh, enjoying yourself. Do you know what I mean? You should be, you should feel protected. You should feel um, a sense of community, right? Like um, even if you destroy your enemies, right? Um, but then all you have left is just yourself and your thoughts. It's like, all right, great. Do you know what I mean? I, I can spend time by myself, but it's like uh, the the joy that you get from helping each other, from establishing uh, kingdoms for one another, you know, and 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 talking those tales, those battle uh, stories, you know, from old wars that you fought together. Do you know what I mean? Like you can only do that with the people that were there side by side with you, who um, who had your back. Do you know what I mean? And and if you've really been through it, and and you've had a moment where you had a friend who who truly had your back, it's like it's like like there is a a special connection in your heart that you form. It's like do you know, do you know what I mean? Like yeah, I, I could have gone through this by myself, but you know that person had my back, and he didn't need to. Right, that they, they was unselfishly helped you out the kindness of their heart because they they truly uh, had some sort of um, you know friendship or love towards you uh, because they believed that you were somebody. Um, they believed that that you were somebody. Do you get what I mean? Like, and um, you know, out, out of the maybe it's a selfish interest, you know, maybe they think oh, I can use them later in life. But it's like you know, when you're going through the battle of uh, whatever you're facing in life, uh, and somebody helps you like that during your tough times, you really value it because it's like you know what I mean. Like, okay, he didn't. That person didn't need to do that, and um, and I think Jose, you know, by by becoming this uh, technocrat, by becoming this uh, democratic uh, leader at the top, he he lost sight of it. I believe what he needed was people like us around him. You know, be like, look, man, you're doing fucking well here, but what about what about these things? Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, th there's a nature of uh, he, he towards the end of his jobs, he 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 falls out with the media quite heavily because there's a uh, a paranoia that sets in within him. Uh, I don't want to be the type of leader that that is always paranoid. I don't want to be the leader who is out there by himself. I want to be surrounded. Uh, you know, King Arthur had a round table. Uh, why can't we establish a round table of kings? A right round table, um, uh, a universal round table uh, of the elite alliance of uh, royals that we are. Do you get what I mean? We are all of royal bloods, uh, and together we can. You know, there's enough territory for us to rule. Uh, enough kingdoms for us to establish. <clears throat> and uh, enough fun for us to have we will live lives of luxuries uh once we get to the top and um you know there will be no fallouts or fallbacks like it happened with jose a rhetorician a psychologist a motivator jose's unique and fresh approach was why his meteoric rise in portugal was so well meteoric he was different but over the last 10 years a new trend has emerged within the game which has harmed jose's style of management clubs at all levels now want head coaches not managers it's now expected for these so-called head coaches to oversee just coaching and match days with some input into transfer when the club sees fit. Obviously there are exceptions, but that's the general model in today's game. This new trend is down to the frequency of managers being sacked. Clubs want to protect themselves and not put all their trust and resources into one person. Not relying on a manager to oversee all parts of a football club is arguably the right thing to do, because should things go wrong, all things come to a natural conclusion. The break yeah, even these clubs, um, and, and clubs in, in some sort of way, are, are kingdoms within themselves. Uh, if you look at the nature of sports, uh, it's very tribal. It's very, um, you know, it, 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 it's very it, cultish sometimes. Um, you know, it's, it's different philosophies, different ideologies installed within a club. Um, here, especially in England, in the Premier League, um, football is a type of religion, okay? And, um, you know, when the manager comes in, um, who who's as, as charismatic as Jose was, um, who... You know, wants to be the total ruler, the de facto ruler who wants total control. Um, in essence, it, you're, you're giving away the crown to to such a person. And and if he, you know, if um, you know, if you have watched Game of Thrones, you know, they talked about the Mad King, uh, and, and slowly, you know, because the Mad King was isolated, he he wanted to burn down the whole city before they killed him, and um, that's why they they changed the role from manager to head coach because they they're trying to limit the amount of power that that person has uh we are trying to establish our own kingdoms from scratch so we um don't have other people that we need to uh get consent from we will uh, establish all our own rules um and uh, you will be part of a united nations a united network 
uh, of kings who all come together and share their perspectives, share their ideas to uh, rule in a peaceful way uh, in the general interest for humanity. But let's finish off what this guy has to say. Up won't cause as much damage. Clubs now have far wider structures in place with departments and teams that specialise in specific areas. As a result, managers are far less powerful than what they used to be. For managers like Jose, who want total control and oversight, this new model just doesn't unlock what they're best at. The Portuguese. Yeah, so, so again, it, it showcases that Jose didn't keep up with the times. Jose needs to be, I mean, he's a very wealthy man already uh and he has a lot of uh, power and influence he is very well known very well respected uh what he truly needs to do um uh, if he has the energy for it if he has the um aptitude for it he needs to establish a football club from scratch okay um he needs to move somewhere um in portugal start his own academy where youth players come in he develops them he establishes his own club his own fan base, a stadium, and grows his kingdom from there, okay? Uh, and then he will be the total controller. He'll be the total head coach. He will be the total ruler of the whole thing uh, because he, he's obviously a very talented manager. He's a very talented motivator. He is a born leader, in essence, and, and that's what we're here about here on Raw Instinct. We are born leaders. We are uh, charismatic communicators. We will be the de facto rulers of the world, um, and and to do that, you know, we will establish our own kingdoms. We will not be told what we can and can't do. We will do as we please, um, and then and then we don't end up in a uh, position like Jose, where you feel paranoid, you feel uh, alone, you feel, um, you know, you, you you have a bad downtime in in your progress, and then you can't stay there because you can't get back up because of the powers to be. Um, Jose needs to establish a new club by himself. He needs to build his own kingdom. Um, we are here to support him. I will support him uh, if he uh, so wishes. He will be part of a network if he could want. If he wants to, um, he will be amongst friends. He will be amongst people that he can trust. He will be amongst people uh, who understand and appreciate him. Uh, he will be amongst people who are exactly like him. And uh, hopefully, once he sees that, once he sees what type of people we are, uh, you know, he he can shed and let go of some of those tendencies and paranoias that he has picked up and developed in his life. He must have been hurt and uh, felt betrayed by people where he's he's put up his guard like that. But you know, we don't have those issues here at Royal Instinct. Um, if you believe uh, you are of royal descent, that you have the royal instinct, that you want to become a king, reach out to me. Let's see if we can work together. Uh, but until next time, that is it. Thank you very much, and I will see you later.